from the heart of El Monte City Hall West, it's El Monte tonight with your host Arturo Esparza and co-host Miss Vivian. Tonight on the El Monte Tonight Show, special guests from the homeless female uh, homeless female veteran Teresa Caspar and our guest band Dollar and Change, and I'm yours truly, Miss Jamie Neary. Let's take it away with. Dollar and change. <laughs> Into the sky Girl, I love you And I don't know why Over the mountains Into the sky Girl, I love you And I don't know why It's over My head It's over My head Don't you know
check our electric bill. Anyway, <laughs> yes, this is El Monte tonight with the host Arturo Esparza, and next to me is my own precious queen, Guinevere, Vivian, <laughs> Miss Vivian, who's wonderful and always a lot of help and came here like a trooper during the rain, so I really appreciate it. You're welcome. And, and I you know, want to thank, and we had our little Jamie Neary back, hiding out there, so we're glad to have her on the show. And of course, your dad, the father of the channel, Pablo. Oh yeah, he couldn't miss it. Let's have a round of applause for couldn't Pablo back there, please. There you go. Yeah, because we missed him so much last time around. You know, just want to make a real quick correction because we have Teresa Gaspar who's gonna who's gonna be coming up on the show, and she is from the Almost Home. I hope I can make that up. Almost Home Vet House uh, Center. Is it a center, Teresa, or is it a transitional home? Okay. Well, she's gonna be coming up in just a few minutes to talk about it. And she, she's a we had her on uh, Ruben Treviso's uh, Veterans Corner today, and she was just a, a fabulous, a hero in every sense of the uh, word. And a lot of times people forget that uh, we do have some very heroic female veterans out there. So we're hoping uh, to get her uh, moved into like the Women's Talk Show, or Ben Rack Heart and Soul. That'd be great. Yeah, That'd I think she'd be, be awesome Hello. doing that. I got a couple of announcements, and we'll make it real quick. You guys are performing on the 20th, right? Yes, see, good segue, yes. huh? Yes. <laughs> okay, we're going to have uh, Power Play is going to be performing at Ignacio's uh, Sports Bar and Grill over at the Valley Mall. And one day previous to that, we're going to have our fundraiser, our mini fundraiser, and combination slash Christmas show for Almani tonight. And we're going to have like a, our own, everybody does all star bands. So we're going to have our own all star band. We have people from Original Sacrifice, um, Money B. Henley, she'll be singing, performing. Uh, we're going to get, of course, Ray Ponson, who, who performs with Joe Batan, uh, our own good friend Robert Colvin will be there on board, and a few other guest people. We've got Shorty coming down to play congas, so you know that's always going to be a blast, and um, and a few other uh, surprise guests. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to camp out overnight, Friday night to sun Saturday night. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be watching. Well, yeah. Ignacio's going to charge you rent. He's going to put you in, in the kitchen and just yeah, leave you no, there. No, Ignacio. Uh, no, he'll just keep you in the refrigerator to keep you fresh. So, you know, Stay tuned for that. That's coming up in a couple of weeks, so you, you don't want to miss that. Okay, Thursday, December 11th, they're having the Hilton Garden Inn groundbreaking, and that is at 9920 Valley Boulevard, beautiful El Monte, California, where we like to live, work, and play. And uh, you want to, if you're going to go there, RSVP to Miss Sheila Crippen, and that is at 626-580-2001, and they'll be at 1030 refreshments, 11 o'clock a.m. program, and 12 p.m. lunch. So you want to go on down there, check it out now. Uh, Mayor and City Council is, you know, very much a part of this, and this, you know, things are happening in Almani, so we have a groundbreaking. What else we got? God, I got so many things. That's when Thursday, huh? Yeah, it's Thursday December 11th. So you want to go check that out? We got it's Santa's nice coming to town, okay? Now, if any people remember, we have like a Santa float that goes around every year. Well, this year they're starting actually tonight at six o'clock. They'll be cruising around. Then they'll be going Thursday and Monday, Thursday, December 11th, and Monday, December 22nd. And he'll be stopping on December 9th at Zamora Park, the 10th, Mountain View Park, December 15th, Valley Mall, December 16th, Gibson Mariposa Park, 17th, he'll be at Longo Toyota, and he will be on the 18th at Bonwoods. And these are all at 6 p.m., so you want to go check it out. And they have a they have a big old route. Look at this. I'm not kidding. Where Santa? Santa has that route? Yeah. Oh. He floats around El Monte. <laughs> so cool. if your toys are late, you know what to play. On what, though? <laughs> it's late, on a float. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's on a float. Eh? Oh, how nice. So you want to go down there and check it out. Um, somebody slipped all my old notes up here, so I'm going to get them. Okay. Hastings Ranch Holiday Lights Tour. That is Saturday, December 20th, 2014 at 5.30 p.m. Departure from the Almonte Trolley Station. 
9 p.m. return from Hastings Rants light tour, $7 per person. And you want to contact the Public Works Department, Transportation Service Division, 626-580-2217. Wow, a lot of fun activities. Oh, we're going to have a lot. Let me tell you. We haven't done yet. Holiday House. Okay, you ready for this? S Saturday, September 6th, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. And that's the Almani Community Center, 3130 Tyler Avenue. Number there is 626-580-2200. And they're going to have everything. They're going to have the... Royal High School cheer team and noodle breakfast, five dollars per person, nine a.m. Uh, San Gabriel Valley. <laughs> this girl's <laughs> hungry. Uh, San Gabriel Valley Energy Wise Partnership Holiday LED Light Exchange, and that's at nine a.m. Oh, cool. Pedals the clown. I don't know who Pedals is, but they must be a clown. Going to find out. <laughs> one with a name like Pedals, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, junior Recreation Leader Volunteer Program, Carne Asada, Taco Lunch, $5 per person. Mm, carne Asada. Topic. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. That's why you're so flaca, flaca. I tell you, man. Tree Decorating Contest, it's 4 30. Mm. Pee Wee Chitter Leader Spaghetti Dinner, $5 per person, 4 30 mm. to 6 30 p.m. And the Gingerbread House Contest, which is every year. That is going to be December 6th. And first prize uh, is. A large screen TV, second place is two Disneyland tickets, and third place, AMC Movie and Dinner Family Gift Basket. So That's you want to check them out. That's going to be happening at the Jack Crippen Senior Center, 3120 Tyler Avenue. One last one, I promise. Damn. I know I, I, I get Kyle, he gets a little hysterical because I, I don't stack these up. You know, and I, just, <laughs> I just grab them as I go along. Okay, and this one, this one is for uh, Ms. Vivian as well. It's the Almani Council PTA Annual Holiday Luncheon. Thursday, mm -hmm. December 11th, 2014, starts at 11 a.m., Grace Teeth Black Auditorium, 3130 Tyler, $15 per person, menu, chicken cordon bleu, rice pilaf, vegetable, salad, beverage, and dessert. I have all of the above. There you go. See? <laughs> <laughs> Entertainment by the Almani High School Choir. So oh, you nice. want to check into that. Okay, and that was all our announcements, I promise. And we have a couple more, but I'll, I'll hold off on them for just a little bit because we want to get on to all the action. And I'm going to ask a, a favor back there because we have to mic up our first guest. Can we get some B-roll action going back there? They're going to kill me out of the out-of-control room because, you know, it wasn't, wasn't planned. But timing's off. We good? Okay. Come on, we're going to put it down like this.
Okay. That was that was our good buddy Brenton Wood, a uh, friend of the family and man, if you ever get a chance to see him, go out there and support him. He's uh he's done a lot. He's been a part of uh, my channel going back to 1991. So, you know, we really appreciate him. He's a great individual. If you ever get a chance to see him, say hi, say hey, Brenton. Okay, just real quickly. I'm sorry I got one more announcement. The first annual New Year's Eve fundraising dance at the VFW Post, where we had our Christmas show last year. Okay, um, at 11126 Ramona Boulevard. The number there is 626-448-1737. That is going to be on my birthday, December 31st, 8 p.m. to 1 a.m. Doors open at 6 p.m. Uh, donation ticket price, $25 per person, $45 for couple. And the music is by Los Pisteleros, who's uh, lead singer happens to be... Uh, our, our friend Dolores D'Angelo, who on that show that we were luck looking at the clip, co-hosted with me because oh. I didn't have a co-host back then. So she was a sing, she was gonna sing. So she goes, "Oh yeah, I'll do it." Oh, how nice! I tell you, singers are awesome. You female singers, oh, amazing. Okay, now on to the an interesting situation here that we got, and this is Teresa. Like I said, she was on earlier, and um, oh God, could you just tell me a little bit about yourself, Teresa? A little bit about you know your background. Well, you did mention that you were from Boyle Heights and no, East LA. East LA. East LA. East LA. Born and raised in East LA. Um, joined the Navy at 17. Served proudly for 10 years. Uh, two years Navy. Eight National Guard. Activated for the riots. Activated uh, Northridge earthquakes. Um, traveled pretty much, and um, now, after everything, I'm a homeless veteran staying at almost home transitional housing me and my 15-year-old son. So amazing, a round of applause, please. Wow. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's See a that? lot of accomplishment for a young lady like you. And uh, I commend you, and I thank you for serving our country. Oh, thank you. See? Well, she's thank awesome, you. let me tell you. Quite a handful. And you do everything from what? Fixing tanks to wanting to jump out of a plane, if I recall. Oh, yes. If I wouldn't have gotten out, my next mission was airborne medic. I wanted to be airborne. So I got out, went to school, and wanted to be a flight nurse. Huh. But that wasn't my calling. My calling is now going to work on my degree for uh, humanities and social service. Beautiful, beautiful. So that's what I'm working on now. Wow, where'd you, where'd you go to high school? I went to Sure High School and sure. then ended up at good old Vail High School. Vail. <laughs> but I still went to the Navy, served two branches honorably. Well, and just made as a change. A <laughs> sidebar, my <laughs> son went to Sure, and I taught at Vail. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> might have been one of my students. That explains why she left. And <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I, got jump my, off of plane. I got my high school diploma from there. No, it was a good so. school. Good school. Uh, right. I'm trying to think of the principal's name. It escapes me right now. But uh, real nice guy. He was from uh, Truth and Consequences, New Mexico, the principal that I was working for. Oh, really? Yeah. And that's, that is a real tiny town. Literally, if you blink, you miss it. So, but a real nice guy. But Vail was a good school. It was a, I enjoyed it. I had fun there. I did too. It was, you know, somewhere that, you know, back in that day, if you were having a child, you didn't belong in the public's mainstream. Vail did it, and education, and I made it to um, become an intelligence field from Vail. So they did teach me well. I was taught very well. Scored a 98 on my ASVAB. Um, so I went from Navy intelligence field to a combat medic. What a switch. Right. Very Underground amazing. to seeing the light of day. Yeah. Got tired of not seeing the day. Yeah, we were talking about that. She was almost a spook, huh? Almost. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. I talk about your burn notice. Hey, <laughs> well, amazing. Well, I see that you guys are, the, the transitional home that you're in, you guys are, are in need of support, correct? Correct. We... Basically what happened was, I've been trying for a year through the Long Beach VA, all these homes that offer help for veterans. They not only help with domestic violence, they help with um, getting your VA, getting your VRAP, education, whatever you need that the VA is not helping because it takes a year. A year of, it was to the point where I almost lost my son. This almost home is operated solely on donations. My son is 15 years old fighting pancreatitis, who's fighting for his life every day um, because he stepped in to be my hero. Almost home is literally almost home for us. They're, they pay out of their pocket 
our light bill is $2,000. My son wouldn't have had a home. And all these if, people who donate to that is? Well, we have no pledges. A lot of people promise to pledge. You know, you look at it this way. You go through the drive through at five something. Your family goes through the drive through at 17 something. If somebody would simply pledge a dollar a day, we could keep the house open because we're in the process right now of losing the house and it closing. My son wouldn't be alive today if we didn't have a home because the pancreatitis has not become better. Mm -hmm. He was a baseball player. People know him in Baldwin Park. Mm -hmm. Full scholarship to Cathedral High. Yeah. Our, next neighbor, our neighbor's next door, yeah. Right. Cathedral High, very good um, school. Everybody oh, knows my son who was an awesome baseball player who stepped in to protect his mother and now can barely walk from one room to the next. Almost Home is the only one that took us in. Since they're not operated under grants, they were able to take a 15-year-old. Right. Um, like I said, we have no pledges, we have no donations. Everything is a promise to pledge, and we're in the process of shutting down, our doors being closed. Now, you guys are next door. I remember we were talking about that. You're right over here in... Uh, West Covina. West Covina, thank you. I was a little slipping away because it just it's just so amazing and I know I know uh, our good buddy Ruben uh, emphasized this and really hammered it home he turned it into a telephone mm -hmm. he kept having to read the phone number like 20 <laughs> times I did memorize it from that yeah, yeah. Well, that you was, know? Yeah, well there you go well because you scored a 98 uh -huh. right you'll be able to do that but they're going to have uh, on December 15th from 12 noon to 2 p.m. hot chocolate and treats what are treats hopefully chestnuts you know, over, like the roasted on, exactly. Yeah. Christmas stuff. You know, we're accepting <laughs> donations as far as even toys for the kids. We don't, they don't just help the, the veteran females mm -hmm. in the home. We actually distribute it to the community and, and just like our Thanksgiving, we received turkeys, but we gave it to everybody in the community that needed it. We get clothes donations and we, we distribute it. It's not just for the females in the home. Right. Actually, it's a give and just pay it forward with expecting nothing in return. So my part is to try to keep this house open because I wouldn't have my son for today. Well, that's why, you know, and they have uh, RSVP for address. It says 323-944-1001, and that is at Almost Home Vet House, g gmail, at gmail.com, right? And then you also there's, have... There's uh, a website yeah, there the website, they can see about us. Almosthomevethousing.com. Well, that's, that's great. You know, it's just, um, it's perplexing, you know, and, and, and please give this lady a round of applause again, okay, because you know what, she's, she's a hero, her son's a hero, and that's, you know, that's something precious under, under God, and I'm sorry, I know we're a government channel, and we try to <laughs> separate church and state, but you can't call anything else other than this, and having, you know, that kind of walking the walk, and, and even with all, and, and it's been said, it's been said, you know, whenever you're feeling like you're not being blessed, bless someone else. And this is what it is, and that's what you're doing, you know, and you're, you're, just, you're just remarkable. I you truly know? believe everything happens for a reason. You know, they say our destiny is written before we're born. So me losing everything, me becoming homeless, me deciding to walk away after 20 years um, is my destiny to, to help others that felt the same way I did. There's no hope. You know, thinking your last call is really your last call. Right. So I believe this is, you know, the reason that we're all here, the reason that I'm here. And hopefully people do pledge and we do keep this house open well we're gonna try our best you know what we uh, how, how much time I guess I hate to ask this you know I sound like the Grim Reaper but how much time do you have to keep trying to maintain this house what are we looking at uh, um, we're looking at every day is a, a day less than we have put it that way we're you're we're good behind. you should run for office that was good, good <laughs> I mean you know we just we don't have very much time well, the reason why I asked, like I said, we're already committed to doing a fundraiser on the 19th, mm -hmm. which, of course, you're welcome to attend, you know, you, you and your family. Mm -hmm. But also, too, you know, if there's enough time, we can do one just for the house. We would love that. Because, I mean, you know, we, we know a lot of talent here, these young, talented men. Oh, very talented. Miss, I enjoyed it. <laughs> Miss Vivian's a, a beautiful <laughs> and brilliant singer with uh, my cousin's band, Power Play, and uh, various other bands. She's been in years, and, and we got quite a few other friends and I call them the usual suspects that are good at you know opening up their doors and their hearts and you know we'd like to maybe do something in January for you if that's possible that would be wonderful we we would all really appreciate it 
Oh, I mean. What do you guys think? That would Does be sound awesome. Good? That would yeah. be awesome. Thank you. Well, before we end up with a $2,000 mm -hmm. uh, electric bill, I better let these boys swing into action. <laughs> and we'll be right back. Don't go away. We're not done with you. Thank you. Check it.
amazing. I, I just love this. I love this young man right here. He warms up even before the music starts. He's warmed <laughs> up. He's, he's going, man. He's you can getting dub, ready you, for it. You can dub in your own music. <laughs> so that's really great. Let me tell you. And of course, we have my my beloved Mija, Miss Maggie Ramirez. Give her a round of applause. Miss beautiful Maggie. <laughs> don't act like you don't want to applaud yourself, up Maggie. This, this <laughs> place with her little smile. And we got that going. Well, as we were talking about this. And you know, Teresa, I was going to ask you. Now we know you got the you got the two thousand dollar electric bill coming up, of course. But what other needs? What other? What else can you use from people in the community? Well, uh, gift cards for Target for you know because we have homeless people coming in literally with nothing. Right. N no undergarments. No, you know, we get donations for clothes. You know, we don't really need that as much as we do like toilet paper, your basic what you need to live, you know, understand that gas cards, um, for people like our intern Peter Benavides who drives me around, you know, who gets no money, he's an intern, to bring me here earlier, to bring me now, you know, he's also an angel. Esperanza drives all over town to try to pick donations up, to try to do everything. Mind you, like I said, it's solely operated on donations. Right. Gas cards is a big thing. Um, store cards, we pay for our own food, you know. She never lets anybody go hungry, but like I said, it's all monetary, basically, we have none. Right. So the pledges is what helps us clothe, feed, and put the roof over our head. Well, that's just amazing, you know. Like I said, I, I don't know how you do it, how you handle it, you know. I get my interns here, if they miss a meal, they start squawking and crying. Well, especially when you have your son with you, it's even double the, it's just the need right. to, to have someone offer you more than, than you expect, you mm -hmm. know? And I'm sure it's hard for you and your son especially. What is your son's name, by the way? Antonio Martinez. Antonio, <laughs> look at your mom. She's on TV. She's rooting for you and she's wishing well for you. We all are wishing well for you on this channel and uh, we hope you have a very Merry Christmas and the wish that you get I hope is granted to you. Oh Maggie, we're gonna be starting up the Women's Talk Show again, are we not? In yes. Jake? We want to get her on the show because <laughs> you know what? It'd be an honor. Yeah. Thank you. Because, you know, she is, she's an amazing woman. She's like a superwoman, female vet. <laughs> it's just incredible. And, and you know, that's, that's what that show, that talk show is about, is highlighting women of accomplishment. And regardless of your current s situation, you're a very accomplished woman. Thank God bless you. you for that. Thank you. I'd do it all over again if they asked me, would you leave everything, you know, life or financial aspects, you know, my son's life. And all he wants is, Mom, get a job, Mom. I know, Mom, get a job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Once he gets better. You know, because he's lost everything. Not just people think the domestic is just the wife, the mother, you know, forget about the kids. The kids are the ones that actually suffer. What I went through is nothing compared to what my son's going through. Well, you know? yeah, it, it works generations, because uh, for the people that aren't aware of that, that uh, you were a, a victim of 20 years of domestic violence as well. Right. Now, how does, how does that happen? How does that happen? How can a, a person that's fighting for liberty and freedom around the world, basically, end up become a human punching bag? You know, it's and that's what you got to think about. It's about your word, you know. My son says, Mom, promise me you'll never leave my dad sick. At all costs, you ain't got your word, you ain't got nothing. Sure. So until my son was 14 years old, he grabbed my hand and said, Mom, okay, I let you go, now let's go. Until my son took that last, you know, fight for life and see my last breath, he said, we go, and we left. Left it all. Well, you're a fighter. You, know? <laughs> you guys are both fighters. That's yeah. amazing, man. You know, I look... I tell you seriously, I'd book you at Madison Square Garden any day. <laughs> you guys go Thanks. punch it out with a few people. You know? Oh, definitely, definitely. <laughs> USC, definitely. yeah, we, we did talk about that, you know. But there's a lot more, more out there like me than people think. You know, you think of your homeless veteran, your domestic violence, female, battered women. I'm not your average battered woman. I'm educated, honorably discharged from two branches, and I'm homeless. Okay, that beckons the question. Two branches. Wasn't one enough? Oh, no. 
that, boat. That kind of you know. heroism. Huh? I got out before Desert Storm hit, and when they said we were going to war, I enlisted the next day mm -hmm. to hope to go to war. Lock and loaded, ready to board the plane, Los Alamitos, and it was called off. Like, ah, and not here again. you're fighting a war now yeah. to Keep survive and to see your son one day walk into your own home that you know you've furnished for him in the future. You know, right? That's that's a that's a fight right there in itself. Yep. Well, you know. You know, greater than any war that I think you've <laughs> ever been through. You right. know what I mean? This is the biggest fight. But uh, you're a fighter, mm -hmm. and you'll do it. You'll do it. You've yeah. gone through two. You can go through one more. Right. We're very proud of you. Thank you. You don't know that. And one more time, a round of applause for this young lady. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And once, once we switch off, I want you to talk to uh, Maggie and so she gets to know a little bit about you. Okay. And that way we can schedule it, because Maggie's a very powerful and influential young lady herself for such young years, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so, uh, you know, I think between all of us, Definitely. we can do something for you. Not Kay? just for me, for our home. Not, I'm no. not too much concerned about me. You're, the, you're the, the home, you know. I can't think of any <laughs> better representative they could have sent, you know, oh, and that's the truth. You. you know, I don't yeah. think it would have got the point across. So we're going to go with some B-roll, and then we'll come back with the band. And, uh, you know, dwell on this, folks, because it is Christmas time. Thank you.
Okay, that was, uh, once again, the old uh, Eastside Primetime feedback. Thank you. The Eastside Primetime show that we had in uh, Boyle Heights back then, 2007, that was the late, great Bobby Espinosa of El Chicano fame. And uh, it, was a, it was a real beautiful show, and everybody really had a good time. And uh, God bless him. I know, like they say, if there's a rock and roll heaven, he's up there jamming away. And speaking of some rock and roll, you boys ready? Yeah. Let's take it away. Take my hand, take my hand, it'll be
I didn't even know the old one. <laughs> That's a new song. Oh, okay. See, this is our music co director, so she knows what's going on. I mean, I'm clueless. But I'm going to ask you, I don't know if, if you're mic capable on that. How's your mic working? Is it going good? Let me hear you. Check, yeah. Good, okay, because I'm going to ask that you introduce yourselves in order so we can get everybody. We'll start with this young man in the front with the energy to burn. Uh, <laughs> I'm Jason. Segura, also known as Jay Tokes. Um, I'll uh, introduce everybody. Here. Sure, that'd be nice. Uh, right here on bass, uh, newest member of our group, uh, Uncle Dave. Yeah, he's he's so here. young, I can tell he's so new. <laughs> he's like That's that song he's just a new one. He's our Uncle Dave. And uh, I'm back on drums here, the magnificent one and only Rick Rocks. Rick Rocks, all right. And uh, up in the uh, guitar here, lead guitar, lead vocals, Mike Suarez, a.k.a. Strike. Okay, let's get a round of applause for these young people. See, me and the uncle here, we have a history, you know, and we do, because he was back in my old uh, Winter Vision Fun Factory studio back in the 90s, on my show East L After Dark, as, as Miss Vivian was, and a few <laughs> others that have come through these doors. And he was with the beloved band, Bad Bones. Right. And that was a, that was a crazy group. One of these days, you guys be good, eat all your vegetables, say your prayers. I'll dig out a clip and show you bad bones. Right. And with you, I'll use it for blackmail. <laughs> so I want to make sure I got everything covered, right? all, all bases. But no, no, it was, uh, you guys are a very good group, man. You guys are very, you know, <laughs> you. On. and this is a lot of energy. And I was just going through my warped mind here and thinking that when we do something, as we were, we're talking to Teresa, do a fundraiser, you guys would be a great opening act. Because you wake up the crowd, see, and that's what you want. Yeah, no, we love definitely. We, we want, we definitely want to thank you for bringing us on here. Oh, too. man. Yeah, well, right. well, it's a team effort. I got my partner here, so you, you got to thank us both. <laughs> Otherwise, you don't, you don't. And you're always welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, she stays in charge of that action. So, you know, let me just do a couple of quick announcements, and we'll go back on to, like, what's going on. And I don't know, should I, should I tell Maggie what's going on with you? Or is it too soon? What's going on with you? Yeah, what's going on with you? No. Your latest enterprise. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. One more time. No. <laughs> okay. But it's a nice Not secret. Yet. It's a mystery or what? Yeah. You got you to gotta okay. stay tuned on that because we're all going to be involved okay, next year. Next year. Well, at least she says that. It's only a few weeks away. <laughs> okay. Just to remind people one Fifteen. Okay. Los Pisteleros with uh, my good friend Dolores D'Angelo singing will be at... Uh, was it Mike Felix's veteran post right across the street at 11126 Ramona Boulevard, Amani, California? Call them, go down there. Uh, it'll be 626 448 1737. And that's a 50 50 drawing that'll be happening there. You can talk to Grace Cox, who is 626 484 0445, and Vera Garcia, 626 448 1737. That number. Okay, don't forget we got Santa. I know Maggie's excited about this. We got Santa driving around El Monte. Yeah. Woo so he's going to be there, uh, like I said, he started tonight. Uh, and he has different routes. He has Norwood Cher Cherry Lee route. He has the Frank Wright Arroyo route, Arceo Fletcher route, and Cran School route. And that is Thursday the 4th, Monday the 8th, Thursday, December 11th, and Monday, December 22nd, respectively. And you can call there find out just in case with this weather you never know so you want to call them 626-580-2250 and find out if they have to reschedule it if it starts pouring we don't want Santa to electrocute himself <laughs> okay no, that'd be <laughs> imagine the kids <laughs> what happened to Santa oh he got fried okay hey I want to let people know that you have the Christmas fundraiser that Teresa was nice enough to uh, make us aware of the almost home transitional housing for female vets December 15th, 12 noon to 2 p.m., hot chocolate and treats. You want to RSVP for the address, 323-944-1001. And you can check them out at thealmosthomevethousing.com, and that's their website, okay? Or if you want to email them, 
uh, almost home vet house gmail.com. Okay? So I want to let them know. There's no address on this, Teresa? No. Uh oh. It's a secret. I know. I just had to give you the business though, dear. <laughs> yeah, no, you're good. You're good. So we just want to let people know about that. And of course, we'll be doing our uh, mini fundraiser for uh, the Almani Promise program, which is helping set up uh, uh, bank accounts for uh, young people here in Almani to go to college. So, you know, and we're working with the, the superintendents uh, of two of the local, the mayor, of course, is involved with it. Our good buddy, uh, Jerry Velasco, help you speedy recovery, buddy. And um, a few other interesting characters, including Jeff Seymour, former superintendent of the Almonte City Schools. So they're going to be doing something, and we're going to try to help them out. And we're going to have like an all-star jam at Ignacio's Sports Bar and Grill. And of course, Miss Vivian will be there with Power Play the following day. So for those people that are Miss Vivian fans, you get your money's worth back to back, Miss Vivian. Yeah. Two nights in a row. Yeah, I know. Huh? Uh, thank you. And she's so wonderful. So we're going to go away with another song. And I'm out of B-roll back there, right? Do we have any more B-roll? No. See, that's what I knew. I knew it was out. See, I never plan ahead. I should pack. Okay, guys. <laughs> take it away, and we'll come back to close the show.
seconds to close it off real quick like I want to thank everybody we get somebody on the camera over me okay I mean miss Vivian okay we'll go around the room give our congrats to everybody we'll start with Isaiah a round of applause for Isaiah, Yay. Yay. Isaiah. <laughs> to our beloved and lovable little Jamie Neary who we're gonna lose in the new year but it should be replaced by Isaiah Jamie Neary okay <laughs> The, our new kid on the block, Jeffrey from Rosemead High School. A round of applause. Yay, Jeffrey. <laughs> and of course, the big dog himself, the master blaster of the out of control room, Kyle Knight. All right. here, bro. All right. And naturally, the Maggie. Let's get away, Maggie. The Maggie. <laughs> the big red. A round of applause for Maggie. All right, Maggie. <laughs> And I want to thank your brother for coming on to help out. I appreciate it. Round of applause for that young man. Yeah. Mike. And, of course, we want to thank Teresa Gaspar for coming on down. Let's get a round of applause for the vet. Yeah. And the wonderful band and the musical sounds of Dollar and Change. A round of applause. Yeah. Okay, I want to thank everybody once again. This is Arturo Sparsa from Almani. Tonight. And Miss Vivian. Miss Vivian. And we will see you in the new year. If you'll see our, our fundraiser, come on down. Please support us. We need your help. It's for a worthwhile cause. On the 19th. 19th, yes. Ignacio's Bar and Grill. And then go see Power Play the next night, and you're going to have a blast, okay? So if we don't see you, we'll just wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year now. Okay? Take Good care. Night. Peace out.